Welcome to the world of music. Learning music can be as simple as the 12 inches on this ruler. The ruler in music is a concept designed to aid and speed up your musical learning process. Let's get started. The 12 inches of the ruler represent the 12 tones or notes of music. It happens that our 12 musical tones repeat over and over within the range of a grand piano, higher and lower in pitch, just like a ruler after ruler lined up on the keyboard. Now if we've got 88 keys on our grand piano as our full range of music, and we divide the number 12 inches into 88, we come out with the number seven and one third, which means we've got seven and one third rulers stacked up on our keyboard, repeating over and over the same 12 inches, but at their higher pitch levels. I'd like to explain now how these inches got their names. Remember, there's 12 inches, 12 sounds. We've assigned a sound to each inch in the ruler. That's all we've got. But instead of using numbers, we're going to use letters for their names. Now, if we tried to use all letters, 12 letters, to name our inches, we would have letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And if we were trying to keep track in the order of where we were playing, an H or an I or a J or a K, it would start to get a little bit hard to remember 12 different letters and where we were in our musical lineup within our ruler. To simplify things, let's use only seven. And we've looked at the keyboard and we can see how it's laid out using seven letters. And instead of using other letters for the other five inches, let's use partner names or signs. And we look at the sign here and we call it a sharp sign. It looks like a tally mark. Or we see the little B. It looks like a B, small b. It's a flat. Now those terms mean something. They mean, if you put the sign next to an A, that it means the next inch after A in the ruler. Or if A is inch one, inch two is A sharp, going up the ruler. If we go back backwards than the ruler, say we go A, then inch two is A sharp, and inch three is B, if we go backwards from B, we could call the second inch B flat, going backwards from B. And it's a unique thing that musical notes with the partner names now have two names all the time. And it can either be, for example, an A sharp or B flat. It is this inch number two. And this goes for the A, the C, the D, the F, and the G. Those are the five we use. And we've shown why we chose those and we left a partner, no partner for B and no partner for E that merely goes to, from B to C, the next inch. We also see the D being the center out of seven that we have three on one side of D, A, B, C, and E, F, G, three on the other side of D. So everything stays totally symmetrical and even to our left, right brain and our left-right eyes as we look at it, and our left-right hands. <laughs>